Hi, welcome back everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to create a talking head with Jack Ma picture and Jack Ma voice. We have already created a picture in our second video and we have created a voiceover on our third video. There's a few tools that we can use. Basically, I'm looking at DID, HeyGen and Epic. And in today's video, I will just be showing you the DID on how to use the ID to generate a talking head video for Jack Ma. Just head over to the ID website and this is the website that is on the ID. And if you take a look at the pricing and the ID wasn't really cheap, but we are going to take just a free trial. And this is the cost of it because uh, for DID, the light version is going to cost you $4.70. That is if you choose to pay annually. So there will be every year there will be $56. That work out to be about under $5. And you can only create 10 minutes of video. One credit is about 15 seconds. And then there's this DID watermark. If you click on it, if you click on this, you can see the DID watermark. But I'm going to use a free trial just to test out DID. And then there will be a full screen of watermark. So if you click on this one, then you can see the full screen of the watermark of the DID. But anyway, for now, just create an account. If you don't have the account, just sign up for the account. Just click on the login and then just create either a new email address or login with your Google. You can just create a new Gmail account and try this out. So for me, I have already created a new account. So let's start to create. So when you're on DID, I think the first screen you will see is this screen. When you just created the account, they give you 20 credit. Of course, this is just a trial account and then you have the watermark all over your video. But if that is what you like, then you can go for DID and then you can just start paying for it. For now, let's just click on this create video. And then from here, you can choose all your avatar and you can type your script over here. And then you can choose the voiceover. So if you just want a talking head video, that's very easy. Just choose the person that you want. And then off you go. Because for my tutorial is... Because for my tutorial, I'm teaching you how to create a talking video with Morgan Freeman or Jack Ma. So we did a little bit more work. We need to create an image and then we need to create a voiceover before we can do all this. But if you just want a simple talking head video, then that's easy. Anyway, from here, because I don't want to use the uh, default avatar, I need to have my own. Of course, they can generate for you. Just type in your keywords and then they can generate for you. But let's see if I can choose my own. Let me just go down and go all the way up. So from here, I can choose the add button and then I will just add my own image that I created in the second video. So from here, we can select whichever one that we want. Let's say I want to use this as the talking head. And let's see what is the error that DID will give me, if there's any. Okay. We have this image violation detected because DID is smart enough to know that I'm using a image of Jack Ma. So DID refused that. And I need to upgrade to an advanced plan. And even upgrading to an advanced plan does not guarantee that you can use this image because this is a copyright image. Although it's generated by AI, it's fake but it's still a person. So we are not able to do that. Let's try another image. 
because I created a ton of it. Actually, it doesn't matter because most of the image will be in a violation of DAD rule. So we can't. So can we still create a Jack Ma kind of talking head video with DID? Then let's try the DID own prompt. So from here, we are just put Jack Ma looking at the camera. And then we are just click generate. Because whatever is generated from DID, then we can use it. So those that I generated, I can't use it on DID. That's why we will be looking at the other two software, HeyGen and Epic. So this is what the DID generated for us. And that is the best that we can do. Because DID don't allow your own image, those image that you generated out, DID don't allow that. So we have to make do with this. So let's say this is the better one. Or of course, you can play around with all the different kind of prompt. Let's say I wanted to use this because that is the best for now, I think. So I just add this to the gallery and then I can just create using this. And then the next part is you type your script if you have any script, but when you're typing your script, then you're using their voiceover. Because I have already created the voiceover of Jack Ma in the third video. So I'm going to use the one that I created. So I need to upload it. So I'm uploading the Jack Ma voiceover. I'm not using the script. Okay, so there's 31 seconds. Now I'm going to generate the video. It tell me that they are, this will use up three credit. That's fine. Let's just generate. We need to give it a little bit of time. Depending on how long is the video, then it'll take longer if the video is much longer. So in this case, our video is generated. So we can download it. I'm going to download this okay this is done by the did software let's take a look at what we have from the did hello everyone what you are seeing and hearing now is not real i am not jack ma the picture is created by artificial intelligence the voice has been cloned although it seemed real or at least look real but this is actually fake and created by winston wade follow and watch how i can teach you how to create a video like this in a series of tutorial okay so this is the did software that generated out this video in the next video i'll be showing you the hey Jan, and then another video i'll be using epic and then finally, we are going to do a closed caption on this. I'll be posting this finished version in my YouTube shot. So just look out for it. That's all I have for you today in this video. In the next video, I'll be using HeyGen to generate Jack Ma talking head video. And let's see if HeyGen allow us to use the image that we generated with the voiceover. I will see you on the next video. Thank you.